YouTube, it's Mr. Was Up 2000 here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Tac Force uh, Blade Tactical Knife. I, I don't know. It says Speedster model, Tactical Rescue Outdoor, and I should ask my local retailer for other quality Tac Force knives. Uh, warning, this knife has an extremely sharp edge. Use caution when opening this package. Mishandling or incorrect can result in serious injury. It is the responsibility of the buyer to investigate and comply with the laws and regulations that apply in his or her area. Custom design in USA. Master cutlery. All rights reserved. That's all the bullshit out of the way. So let me cut this box open. I have a knife open right here, so... Nice and simple tape. Uh, I'll admit I could have just used one of my fingernails for that, but... I'm too lazy right now. Alright. So let's open the box up right here. Look at that. It's right there. This is much bigger than I expected it to be. Well then. Um. That is pretty big. Alright. Um. I just got this today. No damage or anything. That's pretty good. Um. Damn. It's like a traditional karambit, but it's a flip open. So. Hold it like that. Um, wow, I didn't think this thing was going to be this big, actually. Um, let me go get one of my other karambits to compare the size. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I just got my, uh, Defender Extreme Hawkbill, and I gotta say, um, Blade to Blade, this black and red one is way bigger. Puts this Hawkbill one to shame. I got this one off Amazon, too. I'll do a later video on this one. But, um... Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I got it for about $8. I'll link it in the description in case you're, uh, um, in case you're just, uh, you want a karambit knife that folds. Oh, man, that is, that's the only complaint I'm gonna have, um, getting the knife back into the, um, yeah, wow, that's kind of, it's brand new, so what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? But, um, yeah, this is a good knife, um, I'll come back. With a, a different review on it, see how it holds up in like at least a month or something. But um, yeah, look at that design. It doesn't have a window breaker like my other one. This one, this has a window breaker, so if you need to get out of your car, I'm assuming you just, doom, you smash your wind, you take your karambit, if you have it on, you go to the window, like, psh, but then you, then again, you have a blade right on the knife, so. This one feels better in my hand because it's a traditional style karambit. Well, not traditional. Traditional would be like really, really like old and wooden. Um, this one has an alright feel. It's kind of bulky, but that's actually not that bad of a thing to have with a knife. Like, I have a Boeing knife, and that's big ass and bulky, but... Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later in my next video.